Thursday was a big going out night and everything. And you know, there's always this burly man who'd come in on a Friday <laughs> with all these stories. I was like, man, this guy's got stories. So I'd go over and listen, and then we, you know, we started hanging out, became good friends. There was a summer, and he called me. And the first thing he said is, Mark, I messed up. I said, what? <laughs> and he goes, man, I, I think I'm in love. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness the joining together of this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Yesterday, I had the, the pleasure of hearing stories from Ethan and Logan's family and friends. And I won't share all those because I'm a pastor. <laughs> but stories of their adventures together and the ridiculous situations that you find yourselves in. Now, I've known Logan all of her life, and I know that she is a fierce friend loyal and kind, loving and accepting. She is determined and driven, yet fun and down to earth. Her friend's stories only confirmed what I already knew. Ethan, I've known you for a short time, but based <laughs> on the stories I heard from your friends, the same can be said for you. A fierce friend, loyal and kind, loving and accepting, determined and driven, yet really fun and down to earth. Everyone here confirms that you too are a match. I pronounce that they are husband and wife, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Therefore, for God is joined together, let man not separate. Ethan, make this your beautiful bride.
Y'all have made the absolute most of it. Cheers, y'all.